Good evening and welcome to Meditate with Marie. It is day eight of my Positive Influences series and in this little mini series of videos I have been having some great conversations with people as well as sometimes flying solo just really focusing on who, what and where has a positive impact on our mood. And tonight I hope to bring in another special guest, fingers crossed, all being well. Um, but until she gets here, <laughs> I would like to just introduce her as someone who definitely has a positive influence on the yoga community fellow yoga teachers and pretty much everyone that she comes into contact with. Um, I'm hoping to be joined by the fabulous Emily Osborne from the Durham Yoga Studio any moment now. Um, so not only does yoga uplift us and make us feel good mentally, physically and emotionally, but I think it's important to talk about the space and the surroundings in which we practice it. And there's nowhere better than the uplifting. And I'm hoping that we can share that with you. Let me see if I can link her into the conversation and then I can sit back. Hi, Emily. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi, Mary. <laughs> I really appreciate your time. Um, so I don't know whether you heard my intro or not, but I was just explaining how the series of videos and conversations that I'm having, um, we're talking about who, what and where has a positive impact on us, particularly our mood. So a positive influence is something or someone that I consider to make you feel lighter, more energized and generally uplifted. Um, and we could talk about yoga all, all day long because that definitely does that. But I really wanna focus on the surroundings and the beautiful atmosphere that you have created at the Durham Yoga Studio. So could you share a bit about that for us? And, and what is it about this space that makes people feel so good when they come to visit? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so I just love creating nice uh, spaces to be in and um, yeah from the very moment I first started teaching yoga I knew that creating a nice space for people to be in was super important mm. um, and especially after years of teaching in community spaces and gyms where there's loud music and all that kind of stuff. It really kind of um, gave me a vision of what I'd like to create and the kind of space that I also like love to be in as well. And I think that's, um, yeah, the Durham Yoga Studio, when you walk in, I hope is kind of a accumulation of all of those ideas. <laughs> Absolutely a hundred percent and you can not only see it when you walk in but you can feel it as well literally you can see and feel people's reactions and and just feel the energy of the room so i wholeheartedly agree with you i've been in spaces before that have, have been pleasant um but very not uplifting I remember going to a yoga class once where all of a sudden one day I went in and they had painted all of the walls grey and all of the mats were grey and then all of the equipment was grey and, and it just felt very dreary and very damp and it made me not want to go there anymore even though the teacher was lovely and the people that went were lovely it, it just definitely makes a massive difference on how you feel with what you're surrounded with. So um, I don't know whether you can show us or not, or whether it's not practical for you to do so, but um, the Durham Yoga Studio has huge windows with massive amounts of daylight, natural light pouring in. Um, you've also got little pockets of light with fairy lights and there's candles. Um, you've got plants everywhere, which is amazing, and a lovely wooden floor. So it almost feels like you've, it almost feels like you're outside, even though you're inside, mm -hmm. and it feels safe and just nice in there. Yeah, uh, and um, I, I can do a little studio tour. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm here right now. Yeah, I've just finished teaching a class, um, so it's yeah. I'll just I'll just flip my camera around. Um, yeah. Everybody 
you soak the air. It's yeah. lovely. So here's the studio. Yeah, I'm just sat in the corner. Um, where I'm sitting now, which is not very glamorous, it's just on the floor. Um, this is usually my office. Oh. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've got lots of plants. We've got light in every direction. So big windows. It's like, yeah, they're so tall. They're like three and a half meters tall. Um, and then I have, yeah. So I'm just going to turn it back around again. So I'll talk you through this. So these, <laughs> these windows are so big. Um, I had to get these curtains actually made to, to go to go on them. Um, but I just want to show you over here if it focuses this um, macrame um, was actually made by somebody who comes to my class here. Oh, wow. um, yeah, and she she kindly gifted it. Um, and her name's Jo uh, Jo the Rope um, on Instagram, so you can find it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Um, I where that came from. Yeah, and then we have another one in here, which is just a random, a random find, to be honest. Um, yeah, but we've got, yeah, nice wooden floor, lots of plants. It is a nice place to be. It is. It's um, very, it's almost, it's so simplistic as well. It's nothing overcomplicated. Um, and yet, it's beautiful. And when you walk in, it, it just, it just feels beautiful so it makes it such an uplifting space to to come and practice yoga in and to teach yoga in as yeah. well um, my camera around, sorry to interrupt i had my camera around the other way um but it's doing a funny focus thing so i'm better just showing you here but i have the fairy lights um and it yeah it's it it's not there's not too much stuff yeah but it's also it's not bare i don't think yeah um, i think you've created a really lovely balance and it's it's just right isn't it yeah i don't know if moving the camera around that. is very good for, for instagram i don't know <laughs> that's, a that's our first tour on the meditate with marie channel <laughs> <laughs> um i think what else is really nice about it and i don't know whether you've done this intentionally but every time you come in something has moved it might just be a plant in a different place or it might be some candles in a different place but it's i think it creates just a nice flow of energy it's almost very feng shui mm. you just keep moving little things around is that intentional or is it just something you enjoy doing um it i think it's it is intentional but it's also i i just do it without even like i i, I have a feeling that something needs to shift um so yeah sometimes it can be like two hours before a class starts sometimes it's literally like 15 minutes before people are arriving i'm like i need to move something in here <laughs> <laughs> well that's definitely inspired me because um i'm very i'm a little bit set in my ways and my house is very organized in the sense that this is the best place to fit this this works well here there's no point in moving it but since i've been coming to the durham yoga studio i will come home and i will rearrange the plants and things like that just just to change how the energy in the room feels um so you've you've inspired me to do that and um, this one here this is um behind me that's oliver he's my avocado plant and I grew him from seed, so he's very, very special. I brought him in just for this video, just for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, hi, Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Brandon, right, she's asleep there. Mm. Um, so I want to say also as well, I think what's really lovely about the studio is it is immaculately, impeccably clean as well. And that, even regardless of how you decorate your homes or workspaces or anything, I think just having a clean space, it does uplift you. If, if something's dirty or grubby, it kind of drags your mood down, doesn't it? It can help to uplift you and improve your well-being just by having a nice, clean space. And it always smells good when you walk in there as well. Yeah, yeah. It's, I think it's, it's really important to me for the yoga space to be really clean and um i can't say that my house is the same as the studio um, we are like, but moments <laughs> <laughs> but it's definitely you know i know that i like to practice yoga in a clean calm space um because we have 
the rest of life isn't really like that. Um, we have a lot of uh, clutter around us, whether that's in our physical space or in our head. And I think that just having a clean, calm space um, just helps to just remove those obstacles um, that might be in our way from practicing, um, which is why people like to practice in a yoga studio because it's mm -hmm. a space where they know, okay, this is my space for the next hour and there's nothing to clean, there's nothing to do other than be present and be here. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's what makes it so great as well. And um, for anybody who's never been and doesn't know, there is um, a separate room where everyone leaves their belongings so that when you come into the studio, it's even less cluttered. It's all about the yoga. Um, and that's, that's a really nice, nice thing to do. Um, I'd also like to quickly ask you, I won't take up too much more of your time, but I'd like to ask you about the mirror that you have in the studio. It's a great big mirror, but there's always a quote written on it. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, so, um, you know, there's many, many yoga studios around and I've been in lots of them all over the world and it's kind of a decision and I think you make, um, are we going to have mirrors in the studio or no mirrors? And uh, I really hate the idea that people might feel um, heavy with um, a sense of heaviness around body image. Um, but I had this mirror in the studio and it's, it's not, it, it's quite big, but it, oh, I can show you. <laughs> I'm going to show you the mirror. <laughs> and it's not, um, it's not too big, but it, it always lives here. Yeah. And I always write a quote on the mirror because I think, well, at least if you are going to look in the mirror, then mm -hmm. you can look in the mirror and either say something lovely to yourself or about yourself or be inspired in some way. Um, so I've changed, I've changed the quote on many, many times. The quote at the moment is self-compassion is the pathway that will carry us home. And it's by Tara Breck. And it's, yeah, it's one of my favorite quotes at the moment. <laughs> um, but it's just a reminder that, you know, if you catch a, a glimpse of yourself in the middle of a yoga class and, um, you know, you, you judge yourself or you you know think oh I wish I'd done something different with my hair or all of the things that we might say to ourselves at least it might be a reminder <laughs> <laughs> I think it's perfect and it definitely um uplifts people I I see a lot of people photograph themselves in the mirror and they might post it on um social media and tag the studio in and I, I think it's nice that there's something inspirational on the wall it's just a, a nice quote it's a nice mirror and it does draw people to it it's it sort of catches the eye and and it gives people the confidence to go and stand in front of it and look at themselves and look at the quote and then they might even go home and look the quote up or write one for themselves around their own home or in their own space um so thank you for sharing that with me i think that is really, really lovely. And I hope that this conversation inspires people to mindfully take a look at where um, they are, take a look at their surroundings and how it makes them feel. And if there's anything in your surroundings that is dragging you down, maybe change a little something. Um, I'm a big advocate for houseplants. I think, you know, they, they're just so healthy for you as well as the air in the room, but they make you feel good. It's like having a piece of nature inside. So, you know, maybe maybe go get a house plant bring it in you know <laughs> it's great um before i end the video emily i would just like to ask you on a personal level um who what or where positively impacts or inspires you mm. what makes you feel good i always i always struggle with this question uh, feel like the <laughs> pressure um no, I'm, no. I'm inspired by so much i'm inspired by just yeah art nature people um, I think nature is definitely a huge inspiration for me um, and yeah in so many so many ways um, and yeah I just think being yeah, yeah immersed in nature is yeah one of our biggest teachers so absolutely
and it gives you that headspace as well doesn't it whether you're gardening whether you're out walking the dog or whether you're sitting in somewhere surrounded by house plants it it does it makes you feel yeah. good is that super cheesy like nature <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It's a big a lot of conversations I've had these last two weeks. People have said nature and music are their biggest inspirations. It makes them feel good to to be around them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and animals, obviously. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Um, well, I know that you are a new puppy mama, so you are a very busy lady right now. I won't take up any more of your time. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your time and energy and sharing this conversation with me. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Oh, thank you, Marie. Thanks for inviting me to, to be here. Um, thank you. And yeah, I'll, I'll have to do it again. Absolutely. I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. And likewise, for anybody watching, whether you're watching live or you catch up at a later time, feel free to leave us a comment in the comments below. Feel free to share this video with anyone um, that you feel might benefit from it. And I'm wishing you all very sweet dreams. Bye for now. Bye, Emily. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.